BTS day. So we are, this is March 17th, I forgot the date earlier. Um, we're shooting day or couple number six of um, On Secret Spenders. So um, Tim is here, obviously behind the camera. We're gonna do a little bit of a, a behind the scenes essentially. Um, just to kind of just show you guys what the process is, my involvement, you meet some of the other guys who are filming maybe a little bit of the crew. Um, but yeah, this has been a, this has been a very interesting three, three weeks so far shooting across all other country. We're in Maidstone right now today and um, I can't wait for the show to actually come out to see what the final product is going to be but this is going to be a behind the scenes pretty long day um, but we'll see what you can capture but anyway catch you in a bit we are about to go on to meet our couple for this episode all together so we're gonna get a call in a moment but anyway this is Anna yeah not on secret suspenders secret <laughs> spenders we're gonna help them with the cash get some cash back absolutely that's what I'm looking for rummaging around in all their drawers how have you found the shooting so far I've loved like digging deep you know like you don't get to do that bit no, you I don't, don't get down and dirty yeah, I, I do yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you doing the finances I get, to, I get to see the bank statements <laughs> I get to see what they're spending money on yeah. I don't get to see like the wardrobe space you don't see the dirty laundry no I don't no I don't. no no yeah. that's why we work so well this is why you look like this <laughs> and I look like this <laughs> No, but it's fun. But yeah, we're going to get a call in a minute. So we're going to go and meet the couple for the first time. And um, yeah, from here, we'll start to build out kind of what we do over the next couple of days or so in terms of shooting. Are you looking forward to anything in particular? Well, do you know what? It's when we come together, it's when to become one. Mm -hmm. When you have uh, those two sides, like how can you help with our actual bank statements yeah. and the actual stuff that feels invisible? How can I help yeah. with the stuff that's visible, the practical bits? Yeah. When we come together, I don't want to be cliche, but <laughs> teamwork 100% does make the dream work. It is work. teamwork though. <laughs> Interestingly, and I only realized this the other day, I don't get to see your bits and you don't no. really get to see any of well, the stuff Well, we see that, that I number. Do. We see, we see the so number it's a bit at the like, end. Yeah, don't so keep me like, hanging, baby. We, we see that bit, but it's kind of like, we don't <laughs> see the other side to it. So I'm interested to see in the edit, what you find and yeah. then how that ties into what I do on the financial side Well, it's well. sort of like the physical manifestation of those figures. Yeah. It's like you can see where it's all going and I can actually physically yeah, see where yeah. it's all going. Yeah. But some of the things I have found in wardrobes looking around is what I'm going to say. We, uh, <laughs> you know when you're like, oh, we won't be selling that. Wrong draw. Wrong, <laughs> wrong draw. draw. Wrong, wrong draw. draw. Wrong draw. <laughs> wrong draw. <Yeah. laughs> actually, I'm, I'm interested. What have you actually felt? No, I can't say. It's not fair. I'm not. I'm not here for shaming. We're not that kind of program. Okay, yeah. We're here yeah, to support, yeah. not okay. shame. Let's okay? keep it clean as well, actually. Oh, yeah, fair. but it, so. you know. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think the thing is, we're going to people's houses, so it's of course so, you're going to find yeah. things like that as well. well and it could just it. be you forget that. Oh my God, I've got it in that drawer. Oops. Yeah. But also, money is so emotional. I think that's the thing I have found is how many of the mothers I've spoken to feel they've lost themselves and have been throwing money at trying to find themselves. And I just can't stop feeling that myself yeah. as a mother. You know, the emotion yeah. around spending <laughs> is something you always know, uh, you always have an awareness of, but when you actually are drilling down into what's the driver behind them splashing that cash, that's when I go, okay, <laughs> I'm yeah. feeling you. Yeah, I think we've all been there as well, spending money on things that we don't necessarily need that gives us kind of like a sense of, instant gratification yeah and it's hard to pick out of that cycle a lot of the time Hello. Oh, Is there a sharper dresser on national television? <laughs> I don't think so. I mean, 
the world has been waiting for it's a, this. It's a rose between two thorns. I mean, what is going on? It's a I'm, I've done ready. this for 20 years. I've done this for 20 years, and then this guy rocks up. I'm I know. Like, oh, I need to up my game. Look, I've literally it's put like, my, my silk shirt on this morning. Secret uh, spenders, it's all here. I know. I know. Well, people Come. will say I'm spending all the money on my suit, but I, uh, you know. Do you know, you know. what? We, we need advice yeah. from him we about do. everything. Like how to dress, what to drive, <laughs> like the whole thing. And they've been on me about this since day one, by the way. It's not just 007, it's all the O's. Yeah. <laughs> and all, all the savings. <laughs> So for anyone who isn't already aware, I'm going to get Anna, because this is your second series do, season doing this. Second season. Second, second season. Yeah. What is this show all about? So, do you know what I love about this show is Secret Eaters was all about shame. Shaming what you're eating, mm -hmm. what you're doing. Secret spend. I nearly said secret suspenders again. <laughs> secret spenders uh, is really about digging deep and helping people get cash back and actually freeing up so much of that financial weight so they can actually start enjoying their lives, living their lives and actually hitting their goals, like mm -hmm. whether it's a wedding or whether it's their kids, uh, you know, having their room redecorated, yep. all these things that feel they're not possible because mm -hmm. they don't know where their money's going yeah. and we've all done that. Yeah. It's the stuff that I talk a lot about on the channel really, just kind of like financial habits, behaviours, that emotional attachment to our money yeah. and the fact that we all fall into this cycle where unfortunately we get driven by other things that in the big scheme of things don't really matter much in life. We get brought into this instant gratification, that kind of stuff yeah. and that drives our financial habits and by refocusing that we're able to then say actually you know what money is a tool to help us build the life that we want yeah and then we can refocus and reuse our our finances to actually make those things happen well it's like little things like subscriptions for example so there's an app where you can see all of your subscriptions and you can unsubscribe there and then so like my kids Peppa Pig app she's grown out of that why am I still paying for that yeah. it's only like what a five or a month but that's a five or a month it all adds up though and it yeah. all adds up and yeah. it's those things where you just know you're spending you know it's kind of filtering out gradually and it's these small moments and you can reclaim then the bigger dream yeah how 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 often do you think, because I, I know what it's like from personal experience, you just have these things and you just forget to have a look at it. Yeah. Do you think people just forget or they just intentionally kind of like ignore it because, oh, life is just really, really busy, we haven't got time to do it. I think it's it. overwhelm. It's overwhelm of a pandemic, of children, of mm. jobs, of life. You know, you just think, what's the one thing I don't have to look at? It's in my bank account almost. Yeah, true. If things are still kind of existing, it's fine, yeah. almost. It's a head in the sand approach, yeah. I would say. Uh, that was fit for me. And I'm not coming to this as some financial expert. I think that's the thing. You are. Yeah. I'm someone who used to be terrible at all this. And I've learned as a journalist, as a lifestyle journalist, to reclaim those moments, those small yeah. spends, and yeah. create actually bigger moments for my family. And that's what I give a shit about. over the next couple of days naturally very very nervous because look let's face it we are in their house and they have gone to another location to look at some secret footage um, that shot for the show in secret obviously so they've left us in their house so there's a lot of trust they're obviously a little bit nervous I think my role within all of this because we are talking about money we're getting into people's like personal business like we're looking through bank statement and stuff and looking at how they can save money and being very direct around look you're spending too much money here it's natural to feel like I don't really want that to happen so my role here is to kind of ease people into it give people confidence that we're not going to be slating them we're not going to embarrass them or anything like that try and make it as positive for an experience as possible and ultimately try and key into maybe some of the goals that they want to achieve so they need money for that that's going to be the point of motivation that I'm going to be using for the stuff that I will do on the financial side.
right. I know, he said we have to make him look good. <laughs> 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 These are all cutaways Ooh. now. <laughs> so, this was a, a kind of behind the scenes. Um, you've you seen a little bit. <laughs> Anita and Anna are obviously amazing at this. I'm kind of the new kid on the block, so. He's, we're actually on the, block. We are on the block. We are on the, <laughs> we're block. On the block. We are on the block. Pete's but, on, yeah. Pete's but on the block. Hopefully, you've enjoyed it. Make sure you go and watch the show when it comes out, which will be. Uh, we'll probably put something on the screen here in terms of date on Channel 4. Thank you for joining. Any last words from you two? Uh, can I get some financial advice, please? Yeah. Yes, <laughs> you need a pension. I, need, I need a pension. <laughs> uh, I need to talk to you about a few investments. And, yep. uh... Anyway, guys, there you go. Tim Three. has done a great job today. These lot are He's so amazing. bad. He's amazing. <laughs> He's amazing. Watch Pete. Watch Pete on YouTube.